It's news at 11. As Michigan State students walk out of class calling for gun reform, lawmakers will head into the state house to discuss that very thing. It's our top story at 11. Thank you for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. And I'm Sherry Jones. Students at Michigan State University tried once more to have their voices heard, organizing a walkout today as they called for tighter gun restrictions following the mass shooting on campus back in February. And today, a package of gun safety bills passed committee and is headed to the full house for a vote. Josh Sanchez got reaction from both students and lawmakers today, and he's here for you now with that and more on the legislation. Josh? Sherry Siobhan, this package of bills follows other efforts by Democratic lawmakers in the aftermath of the Oxford High School and MSU shootings. An MSU senior tells me that she's frustrated seeing mass shootings happen again and again. I've been seeing this since I was in sixth grade. Sandy Hook happened when I was in sixth grade. Um, Parkland happened when I was a senior in high school, and now I'm a senior in my own school, and it's happening at my own school. Holly Gross marched with dozens of other students through MSU's campus today, carrying signs and chanting for an end to gun violence. Miles from campus, lawmakers in the State House Judiciary Committee voted to pass a series of bills that would prohibit certain people from owning or having a gun. The legislation centers around extreme risk protection orders, but are known as red flag laws. They give judges a list of reasons for why someone's guns could be taken away. Reasons like if a person recently used illegal drugs, is found to be seriously mentally ill, has a history of domestic violence, and has violated a restraining order. I know that these red flag laws, if they had been in, in uh, place, they could have stopped the shooting from happening at MSU. And today, seeing the bill's past committee, Gross says she feels like someone is listening. Gun owners and gun right groups have challenged the bills. In a letter to the State House Judiciary Committee, the state director for the NRA Institute for Legislative Action says the bills are an infringement of Second Amendment and property rights. He goes on to say that the bills will prevent people from getting mental health care they need. Republican State Representative Gina Johnson agrees. She says not only should more be done to address mental health issues, but more should also be done to toughen existing laws already on the books. Maybe instead of corporate welfare, we spend it on mental health. More mental health workers. The, we got the research. Let's use it. Let's apply it. Across the aisle, Democratic State Representative Julie Brixey says the bill package is an answer to the calls for action heard at gun violence protests around the state. We're taking steps to change the culture. If we want things to be different, we have to change some of the laws that we have governing uh, guns in our state. Representative Rixey says similar red flag bills have been passed by the Senate and that she does not expect a difficult vote in the House. But Representative Johnson says she and other Republicans are pushing to on are working to push back on that legislation. Back to you at the desk. Thank you, John.